Sclerotherapy. Sclerotherapy is another procedure performed for treatment of refluxing varicose veins. Foam sclerotherapy is often performed on veins not visible to the naked eye. It is also performed on veins that are too tortuous or make frequent twists and turns to accept a catheter. Sclerotherapy is the injection of a medication into a vein to close it down. This is also performed as an in-office procedure. Using ultrasound or a special light for guidance, a small needle is inserted into the problematic vein. Once inside the vein, a small amount of the sclerosing medication is then injected. Polydocanol is one of the most common sclerosing medications we use to close veins. Although polydocanol is not currently approved by the Food and Drug Administration, it is known to be very safe and effective. It is one of the most commonly used agents in the United States and throughout the world to close veins. Polydocanol is typically foamed to increase its potency. Once the medication is injected, it fills the space inside the vein, causing irritation and scarring of the vein wall, which ultimately results in vein closure. Sclerotherapy is also performed on the small spider veins of the legs. This procedure is performed by our doctors and registered nurses in office. This is typically cosmetic and generally not covered by insurance. Using a small needle and sclerosin, the tiny veins are injected, which typically eliminates the veins. New spider veins often develop at similar locations. You must wear a prescription strength compression stocking for 48 hours, night and day, following the procedure. After 48 hours, you may take the stocking off at night, but you must wear the compression stocking the majority of the day for an additional seven days. Although uncommon, risks include infection, bleeding, deep or superficial vein thrombosis, blistering, skin discoloration, and skin ulceration. Infection risk is minimized by our use of strict sterile technique during ablation and phlebectomy procedures. Persistent bleeding can usually be controlled with approximately five minutes of moderate pressure. Your risk of deep venous thrombosis, or DVT, is less than 1%. The risk is higher if you have a history of previous DVT, are taking oral contraceptives, hormone replacement therapy, or if you have a known clotting disorder. Another complication from sclerotherapy is possible skin discoloration with hard lumpiness under the skin. This lumpiness is often the vein itself being turned into scar tissue. The discoloration and the lumpiness resolve usually completely within 9 to 12 months. Another rare complication from sclerotherapy is skin ulceration. Ulceration may occur if the sclerosin agent interacts with tissue outside of the vein. At approximately one week following the procedure, you will return to the clinic for a follow-up ultrasound to make sure there have been no complications relating to the procedure and to assess treatment efficacy. We also do a one-month follow-up visit where we again assess for any complications and assess the procedure success. At this one-month follow-up visit, we typically determine the possible need for additional treatment.